and welcome back to the Unnatural History Show with me, Ross Noble. I'm joined as always by my co-host, Professor Shania Cottle. Oh, yes, of course. Now, we're in an area of high magical activity and we are hoping to be the first people in 75... Is everything all right? You said people. Yeah? I am not people. What? Though we have made our home in the kingdom of man, my kind are not of the human world. I am not a person. Oh, sorry. Um, we're hoping to be the first person and... Hubo. What? The term is Hubo. Hubo. Thank you. We're hoping to be the first person and Hubo to see the elusive Ferretoto worm in 75 years. I'm glad we cleared that up, Professor. Perhaps you'd like to talk me through some of the ways that we're going to be able to observe this worm. You could have said first Hubo and person. What? You could have said first Hubo and person. What did I say? You said first person and Hubo. I'm really sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean any harm. My kind have been here since before you humans crawled from the primordial swamp. We are one with the energy that flows through this land, connected to every plant, every creature, and every living thing, while you humans are as cold and disconnected as the solid rock excrement that falls from the anus of a trombic zonkey. Okay. Um, right. Um, sorry about that. Shall we try and get on with the show? Proceed, human. Okay, thank you. Um, don't forget, we're keen to hear your thoughts on social media. Keep them coming in. We'll read some of those out in a minute. But first, let's take a look at some of the tech that we're going to be using to film this incredible event. This is FilmBot, the robot that we're going to be using to get close to the hatching site. It's far too dangerous for humans. <coughs> or hoobos. This specially designed robot will be getting into the danger zone to film, and it will also be used to help coax out the worm. Nobody said anything about coaxing. I didn't agree to coaxing. The hatching area is 500 meters in that direction. 500 meters? I can't cover that sort of distance. I am not a delivery bot. The hatching area is 500 meters I, I'm in that direction. I'm to film stuff. I'm I am a nanny bot. I should be wiping bombs and dispensing milk, not coaxing terrifying giant worms out of the ground and filming it for whatever bullshit this is. <sighs> The hatching area is 500 meters in that direction, and as you can see, our state-of-the-art equipment is ready to go. On the next episode, we will be looking at the bait that our team will be using at the site. Oh, oh that's just great. I am taking bait to the opening of a layer of the most dangerous creature to be seen in 75 years. I know I'm just a robot, but nobody asked me if I was fine. Okay, let's take some quick questions from viewers. Right, we've got... Uh, Cake Baker Shaker Maker 71 says, I have noticed some strange mist rising from underneath the earth in my garden. Uh, do you think it could be a magical anomaly? Thanks, Linda. Well, Professor, what do you think? Cats. Cats. Yes, definitely cats. Cats. It's cats. Are you sure? Cats. Okay, let's say uh, it's, it's probably cats. Okay. Uh, nothing to worry about there, Linda. Just, uh, just cat. Okay, uh, Tim's Tom Tom says, uh, I thought I saw a flash of what looked like lightning arc across the gap between my recycling bin and my shed. And the next morning, all my hammers were gone and uh, I found a tiny hat on my workbench. Could you shed any light on the incident? It's probably cats. Cats, yes. Cats. Cats. Right, Blue Tack Lord 87 says, apart from the grainy footage you played and the word of mouth legends passed down, has anyone written an account of seeing the Ferretoto worm in person? No, but if any of my kind had written that account, it wouldn't be in person, it would be in Hubo. <laughs> Thanks, Professor. Join us again next time. Uh, goodbye.